Our top story tonight, we've tracked Montana's housing crisis and now new concern about what could happen to 20 mentally ill or disabled people in Missoula. That's because the Western Montana Mental Health Center just listed a 20-unit apartment in Missoula for over $2 million. The nonprofit has locations all across the region from Anaconda Butte and Bozeman to Libby, Thompson Falls, Polson, and Kalispell. In Missoula, clinic administrators say it's time to sell and focus not on property management, but rather in what they call core competencies. CEO Levi Anderson says that means a focus on clinical programs and services for people with addiction and mental illnesses. That's what led to the decision to sell the bridge apartments and another property on 3rd Street. Anderson says the goal is to sell to someone who will continue current operations. We spent the better part of two years having conversations in community uh, to, to understand how we could uh, follow through with our plan to focus resources on our, on our core competencies, uh, but find someone who would be willing to, to take ownership and, uh, and maintain current use. Anderson connects it all to a massive cut in provider rates in 2017. Now, major concern, what will happen to those who call the Bridge Apartments home? NBC Montana's Brady Brewster explains. This property, known as the Bridge Apartments, is located on Broadway Street in Missoula. It was meant to be a public good, so I'd like to keep it that way. Western Montana Mental Health Center listed it for over $2 million after being built with taxpayer dollars. We have a case here where such a facility built, again, with public money, is now being sold at quite a massive profit. And that has city council hopefuls, Kevin Hunt, and Daniel Carlino concerned. I'd really like to see um, our city start making negotiations for that rather than selling this off to the highest bidder because uh, these people are Missoulians and um, they need housing. They'd like to see the city purchase the building using its $14 million of COVID relief money. Their hope, the tenants won't be displaced. The center's CEO says the goal is to find a buyer to keep everything the same rent and tenants. Very recently, we've had some positive conversations with city and county government. Missoula Mayor John Ingen confirmed both are trying to make sure a nonprofit owns it. But that also raises red flags. The concern is that nonprofits can raise prices to whatever they want as long as it serves a tax-exempt purpose. Patty Kent headed up the Bridge Apartments project. She's concerned what this sale will mean for the community, but is hopeful a solution is possible. Whether it's the city, the county, or another nonprofit, I think there's a lot of incredibly talented and bright people in this community in, involved in affordable housing, and we need to sit down and figure out what the best solution is. And there are many, many solutions besides selling it at market rate. That rate at an all-time high. Just one reason why this sale could mean more people looking for housing. In Missoula, Brady Brewster, NBC, Montana.